Good afternoon. Uh, we are here in the Regent's Park, London. It's nice and lovely weather today. I hope you are keeping well and staying safe. You're keeping the two meter distance. It's better to be safe than sorry. This afternoon, I'm here uh, with a friend, this Samuel. I'll let him introduce himself to you. I'm Samuel Into, right. a proud gay man from Ghana. Oh, lovely. Uh, Brunga Hafu to the southern part of Ghana. Samuel, tell me, tell me, what's your experience like uh, being a gay man? Tell me. Ah, being a gay man in Ghana, I'll give it, I'll give it to you an example. First, you can't live your open life. Two, you can't go and tell someone that I love you. But here, I'm talking about United Kingdom. Okay. I can see someone that walking around the roadside and I can, I can tell the person that I like you or I love you. Right. But Ghana, you can't talk like that. Wow. You'll be prosecuted or you be... I came here, I mean United Kingdom, uh, it's because of my sexuality. Okay. Um, can you shed more light on that? Eh? Yes. To be a gay man in Ghana, it's like you went out and steal someone's money. And you can imagine what will happen to you. And my friends know that I'm a gay. In Ghana, it's not easy for you to you know, uh, tell someone that you're a gay. And most of my friends came out to see that I'm a gay. So that is why I ran away to come to United Kingdom to hide myself. I've been here since last year and United Kingdom has been good for me because I've already met uh, my colleagues. I've joined a group called Out and Proud African LGBT and it was so awesome. And I always feel happy to see, you know, to see my Ghanaian friend, Uganda friend and other part of West African country. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying it here. This um, coronavirus, uh, the lockdown, how have you been coping? Yeah, I mean, out and proud African LGBT. They've been supporting me, everything that I do. You know, everything that I do, if I want to buy something, they'll give me money to go and buy it. If I need something, they'll call me. If you, if you need something, let us know. So they've been supportive to me. Wow. So me, I'd, I've never seen any challenges to this coronavirus. Oh, that's good. That's really good. You've been that's so supportive. And because of them, I've never, you know, I've, I'm not thinking about anything again. Mm, that's because, good. Yeah, if anything, I'll call them and then they will assist me. That's really nice. It's glad to know that during this pandemic, there are organizations yeah, like yeah, Art and Proud, uh, Africa LGBT, yeah, yeah. to support uh, the vulnerable and the African LGBT asylum seekers. Yeah. That's really nice. It's nice having you on our program. Thank you very much.